For over 30 years, the Salvation Army Emergency Lodge has been an advocate and service provider for the homeless, not only meeting their basic needs for food, shelter, and clothing, but also providing a comprehensive array of programs that addresses the issues that leads to homelessness. Our philosophy here at the Salvation Army is that we have the residents here all day because the social workers are here from 8 or 8 to 4.30 or 9 to 5 and so we need people, we need the residents to be available to work with them so we can call agencies or whoever we have to contact um, to move their case forward. So it benefits us to have the residents here while the case managers are here. Question, so what's your availability today? Oh, How many so beds? Open, um, zero. Nobody. At 10 o'clock you have families and men calling and then at 11 o'clock you'll have women calling. Today we have no family opening but you are encouraged to call again tomorrow at 10 a.m. Services are offered in a 24-hour setting that require residents to be drug and alcohol free. It's generally busy in the morning hours because people are here for early morning clinic appointments and residents come to get their TB test done, which is a mandatory requirement here at the emergency lodge. Residents stay in semi-private rooms. Each family has their own room, and a single person will share a room with three other people. This is the family side of the, of the shelter. This entire corridor is all family rooms. And so this is the room. Um, we try to have a TV in each of the family rooms. Plus, I think at times it probably helps the parents. And then they have their own bathroom, which is, is nice um, that you don't have a shared bathroom. It's up to them to keep the room clean. So we do room checks to make sure that things aren't getting out of hand in the shelter or in, a, in any room, whether it's a family or with singles. We have a, an activity room here, and this is where the residents come to watch TV. Um, sometimes you, when you're sharing a room with three other people, you just need to get away. It opens at 8 in the morning and then it closes at quarter to 10 because all residents need to be in their room for a 10 o'clock room check. So as we continue to go down the hallway, um, we'll come across the laundry room. So the residents can do their own laundry. They sign up for laundry. Um, we provide the soap and then they're able to do wash and dry their clothes. It's important to have clean clothing, especially when you're sharing your room. And you need clean clothing when you're going for interviews or when you're working. The Employment Assistance Program is designed to address and eliminate barriers for employable clients to move beyond poverty through employment. Every resident that comes into the shelter meets with their case manager. And one thing is determined. They have to get income. Now, income can be a job and it can be social security benefits, pension benefits, but some type of income has to come in for the resident in order for us to move them to housing. So an important piece of our program here is the employment program. You have to have a resume, um, you have to have employment leads, you have to have transportation and that's what we provide here at Salvation Army. Once someone um, is employed it is required that all residents um, whether they're employed or receiving benefits, they have to save 80% of their income. Each resident receives three nutritious meals a day that are approved by a dietitian and the Department of Public Instruction. Bag lunches and saved hot meals are also provided for adults who are working. The respite care program serves single men and women who are self-care, have an acute medical condition, and need 24-hour shelter. All medical providers and area hospitals make referrals to the medical respite care program. The respite program is run by a social worker and a nurse, and so they provide that medical care. We make sure they get to all their follow-up appointments. We do co-pays for meds, um, transportation, whatever they need so that they can get well, so they become stable. The Children's Development Program provides advocacy and support for children living at the shelter. So every day, Monday through Friday, the kids will come down and we'll do activities here, but also come down every day for homework help. The big piece for the family program here is to have the parents with them so that the kids really know what it's like to be doing family activities together. And that's us collaborating with many, many agencies to provide activities for the uh, children here at the Emergency Lodge. Individuals and families living without a home need help to rebound from unforeseen problems that left them homeless.